Hello and welcome back to one of the best TV shows the Vaffer has ever seen, Tilly and Stav's House of Cards. Four from six again on the weekend, the girls with a 100 point win. Tilly, how was it? It was amazing. It was great to get out here for the first time and the girls had a great team effort, which was awesome. Yeah, well we're here again at Thursday Night Training. We've got a big triple header against OMs. The girls have got the bye and the uh, 19s are both at home. Let's go have a chat. Cassie DeBoer, also known as DB and Dutchie, amongst all the girls and coaches. How are you? How are you feeling after the weekend? Oh, yeah. Look, it was a um, pretty big game. The Oval's a lot bigger than we've played on previously, and so it was a lot of running. Um, but, no, I think we did awesome if the scoreboard was anything to go off. I mean, we did great. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, again, we can do that. And you kick your first goal um, ever, which was amazing. We all got around you. How did it feel? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, I'm still trying to work out whether it was a fluke or not. Um, but, no, it was so great having all the girls get around me. So, that was really... Yeah, sweet. And also getting the Coaches Award. Must have done something right. How did that feel as well? Oh, it was pretty awesome. Um, I was definitely unexpected. There's a lot of good girls on the team. So, yeah, nah, thanks, coaches. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, anyway, how are you feeling for the upcoming rounds? How's the body feeling? How is it all tracking? I am so not getting used to this tackling situation. It's really hard. Every morning I wake up really sore. Um, but yeah, no, a bit of more practice and I think it will be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Cass. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I have here Vic Metro, Amy Arundel. Um, how are you? How was the big win on the weekend? Uh, it was very good. Um, really proud of the girls. I think we played really well as a team and, um, you know, it was a really exciting game. Obviously, it's great to always talk about the team effort, but one in particular, Maxine Wells, she absolutely killed it on the weekend and got the rising star vote. Are you proud? Definitely. I played with her for a few years back at MLC and like she's improved so much. She was always so good, but she's gotten so much better and the team is very proud of her. So how are you feeling for the upcoming season? Um, obviously, we haven't tackled all the teams yet, but how are you feeling going into the upcoming rounds? Um, I think so far we've gone pretty well. We've won all our games, but I know... The following week, we have a pretty tough game coming up, and um, I think we need to prepare for that and be a bit more <laughs> So good besides that. Be a bit more. Be a bit more. Consistent? Consistent? No, we've been consistent. Okay. <laughs> be a bit more aggressive? Aggressive? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, on a personal note again with yourself, you've been kicking some amazing goals. How much practice have you been doing in between training sessions? Oh, in between, I probably practice every night. Um, I finish work, I go down to the Oval with a few mates, kick some goals, and then I come to training three hours before training and practice more. Jeez, all right. Um, thanks, Vic Metro. <laughs> well, I'm here with a uh, mortal. Don McDermott, Dommy, ahead of your 50th game, how are you feeling, mate? Oh, mate, fantastic. Uh, pretty excited to uh, play my 50th this week. Can't wait, mate. Yep. And you're a uh, you're a third stalwart, mate. Won the flag last year, obviously. Yep. Uh, pumped De La in the granny. And this year we started okay. We we're uh, one and two, looking yep. to get back on track this week against OMs. How are you seeing it? Oh, bloody confident. Um, should kick four or five, but uh, as a whole, we should actually, no, we beat them quite comfortably, I reckon. So, yeah, I reckon we win, mate. Yeah, well, that's fantastic to hear, mate. Um, personally, off field, uh, you are you're a bit of a model, as as everyone would notice. He's a bit of a looker. Got any gigs lined up? Any uh, superstar gigs that we might know about? Oh no, probably been fired. Haven't had a gig in months, mate. So <laughs> no, no. Have a look at um, a couple of cowboy magazines. Maybe purchase a wedding magazine that's in most uh, news agents. You might actually find my signature in there as well. So yeah, and you get around your uh, get around your favourite Peter Alexander pajama. <laughs> Pajama booklet, and you'll 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 find out that Dom is your father. But uh, Dom, <laughs> thanks for joining me, mate, and uh, have a great one this weekend. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> so I'm here with uh, Henry Dick, captain of the Twos. Bubsy, big week this week. I'm not only we're playing OMs, but you won fiftieth. How are you feeling? Correct, Stav. I just just jarred my finger about 15 minutes ago, so not a great prep. But uh, come 11:40 on Saturday, it's not going to matter how we're feeling. Uh, obviously want to go 4-0, but the 150 is a nice personal milestone. And you touch on it, uh, obviously the twos have started very nicely, 3-zip. Last week was a bit tougher than expected, probably uh, two-point win over Collegians. You really must say uh, the, the team's gelling pretty well this time of the year and it's things are looking up. 
Yeah, look, after the last two years of uh, only losing two home and away games, it is really nice to be tested. I thought uh, against Trinity in the wet, we played really, really well and then quite confident going into Collegians and uh, going into the fourth quarter, game on the line. The boys really, really stood up and uh, it was really good to uh, sing the song and get the four points at the end of the day. Certainly. And uh, off the field, mate, uh, a favourite segment of ours over the years has been Under the Hammer. We're yet to see it. Uh, this season, can you confirm, will it be back? Under the Hammer has been put away for a while with the main focus on the 150. Uh, and then um, after we get through the 150, we'll get through Trivia Night. And uh, who knows, but uh, Under the Hammer could be back with some huge items. Beautiful. Well, thanks, for, well, thanks for joining me, Bubsy, and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Dav. Beautiful. Well, that's all from us, the best show in the VAFA. Um, and can't wait for round five. Go Cards. Up the Cards.